hello 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 everyone welcome back to my channel for all my current subscribers to everyone that is new welcome 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 um as you can tell by the description we are going to be pressing a heart shape puzzle this is sublimation um this is a gift for my brother um for those of you all who are new and who who do do not know we lost our mom in june she passed in june um and so you know my my twin was saying that he you know would love to have something with her image on it so i bought these sublimation uh puzzles from my local craft store let me bring it into the focus this was four dollars they're on amazon and they're on etsy so you can sublimate on these and i think they're they're just so cute i'm trying to keep it together so it'll press i'm going to sublimate this image at 400 degrees for 60 seconds so here's a picture of my mom beautiful picture that's my favorite picture of her so what i'm gonna do is flip my puzzle over this is the backing so it can kind of stay together and i can kind of maneuver it to where i want it to be on the puzzle i'm gonna tape it down with my heat tape and because there's so much of the image left on the back i'm gonna sandwich it on the back of a piece of regular copy paper that way it doesn't matter of fact i'm gonna use two sheets because there's a lot of ink on that so it does not bleed onto my uh cover sheet i've got a teflon cover sheet um so i'm gonna scoop it up with this because now i want to flip it over put it on the heat press all right a cell paper is what i'm using today printers jack ink both can be purchased on amazon um and i'm just going to use a regular piece of copy paper for my cover sheet a lot of people use butcher paper parchment paper this just keeps the sublimation ink from bleeding onto your cover sheet um i use a teflon cover sheet that i have uh stuck onto my heat press holding on by magnets just so i don't have to put a sheet on take it off put it on take it off put it on take it off um so that's just how i have mine on i did see on the t-shirt chicks channel where she has a teflon sheet um and it's a whole cover that goes over the whole heat press and i actually messaged her not messaged her i actually commented in one of her videos where she got this from and she responded so shout out to t-shirt chick um for the response and so that's on my next list of things to get that way I don't have to worry about these magnets because half of the magnets have fallen off. Um, I got them from the Dollar Tree. Um, started off with six. Now I'm down to three. So this uh, is just something that I thought would be real cute. Um, I have seen uh, sub uh, puzzles, I'm sorry, personalized puzzles on places like... Um, is it collage.com? And places like that where they sell those puzzles for 19 20 even 30 dollars a piece so i decided to go ahead and make this for my twin brother for christmas so i'm excited as to how this is going to turn out um and my paper stuck to the top of my i think i got something stuck on here so anyway guys here's the great big reveal oh i forgot to remove the wow that is so beautiful. Let me put it on the this backing so you guys can see. This is so beautiful. It turned out better than I thought because it was kind of hard. You know, a lot of times when you buy sublimation blanks, most of them, depending on where you're getting them from, they come with no directions, no templates or anything. Um, and a heart is just hard. Um trying to remove this piece of tape so i was trying to find a way to make the image to where you know it would kind of fit again you know most of these substrates do not come with a template so you're kind of freestyling it but this is so beautiful 
That is so beautiful. And I'm pretty sure I would have paid more for that um, on collage.com. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in this box. I'm going to print a picture, the picture of her, put it on the inside of this box. So when he opens it up, he'll see. And I'll just put the pieces in here and just give that to him as a Christmas gift. But this is so beautiful. I was really nervous as to how it was gonna turn out because you know, this heart shape is just kind of hard to do as far as template wise. But look at that guys, this is so beautiful. This is so amazing. Um, my mom was a beautiful person and I miss her so, so, so much. This will be our first Christmas without her. So y'all keep us in our prayers. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for all of your support. Thank you guys for the encouragement. Thank you guys for the comments. Thank you for your thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Um, and if you want to see me do something, drop it in the comments. If there's something you want to see me experience, y'all know I, y'all know I love experimenting. Um, so if there's something that you want to see me do, go ahead and drop it in the comments. Um, or if you just want to say, hey, say, hey, <laughs> um, thank you guys again for all of your support. This will be it for this video. I plan on uploading more videos in the coming year. So until the next video, you guys stay safe and be blessed. Bye.